ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Danganronpa. I'm Karen Maku. I'm Doom Dragon. And hopefully everything is recording properly again. Because fuck the rec room. Yeah, we gotta go back there later. Oh god, where are they? Where are those bastards? In their rooms. Are they in their rooms? Oh, the thing said that they were probably in their rooms. Uh, what are we gonna this... do first? Jill off or taquitos? What the fuck did you call her? <laughs> 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 I would do her because she's closest. I gotta go down the hall in order to get Hero. I pressed the doorbell. <laughs> and after a few seconds... I heard a scream and Toko came out covered in shit. <laughs> oh. Who's there? Oh, there's lines. Yeah. Ugh, the most negative aura I've ever felt. Are you sure it's just not stink? <clears throat> the aura, an aura of total decay. It is stink. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I don't care. Jack, 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 Jack. <laughs> Just being an asshole about it. Yeah. She's an asshole to everyone else, so. We were talking about it earlier uh, in the truck. Like, I could just stop being nice. Mm -hmm. Like, I think everybody, just you could just at any point just stop being nice. Yeah. It'd be great. I was in such a good mood. Too. No, you weren't. <laughs> look at your face. You weren't in a good mood. <laughs> You're miserable. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. You see? <laughs> hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? Yeah. Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. Yeah, see, the fact that your descriptive word is slither. What do you want? What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Yeah, it's a reaction to talk. I'm yawning. I wanted to talk to you about the fact that soccer had asked to meet with you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, he already told me she'd asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master too? I said too, didn't I? <laughs> I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So, can you tell me about it? I admit it. I did get a note. But I, I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Mm, Toko claims she didn't go see her, but she's a lying bitch. She is a lying bitch. Can I really believe her? No. Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as a fact. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. Now with that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. You got Toko's account. Yay. Hero! 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 <laughs> what if did that? <laughs> Running down the hall, screaming his name. I pressed the doorbell. And after a few seconds, the door opens and just a cloud of you know? smoke hits us. His eyes are red. <laughs> What's up, Mikado? Did you need something? It's such a stupid way to get into the conversation. <laughs> oh, it's me. Yeah, you yeah. gotta read him because I'm reading for you. <laughs> right, right, right. We're talking with the dudes. <laughs> yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. How'd you know about that? Could it be... uh, did you maybe... Gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Yes. Kiss, <laughs> kiss me. So like, so like that's so Raven we can see further into the future, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> if we have sex, I'll be able to see the future even more clearly. <laughs> if we take off our shirts and hug, I'll be able to like see what happens. <laughs> it becomes more accurate. I didn't watch that so Raven, but that was the one episode I saw. <laughs> Jesus H. <-O> <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. But um, I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. I got, I got another gone. Ogre told me. <laughs> <laughs> Ogre told me herself that she asked Byaki and Togo to come too. What? Oh, uh, right, sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is only the second episode. Yeah. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Oh, well... I was drinking, sorry. Uh, um... When she asked me to meet with her, of course. 
but didn't she write you a note? Yeah, uh, a note. She, uh... How about that? She gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. Yeah, I gotta be honest. It's, oh, wait, sorry. I gotta be honest. I'm super <laughs> suspicious. Oh, great. I've hit puberty. <laughs> Koda hits puberty just like mid sentence. Um, imagine if um, it happened in real life like that. Like, just one day you're in class, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, the answer to that question puberty. is B. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's dumb. I gotta be honest. This is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura? You got it all wrong. No way, I totally didn't. I would never, ever do that. Ever. Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, Last Hero's time I like, saw. Sorry, Hero's like the sketchiest motherfucker well, yeah, who's nice done shit. absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I will do absolutely nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. Last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. D Haven't seen her since then. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Hero was feeling around in his pocket. <laughs> joint, 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 baggy joint, pipe. <laughs> 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 Alright, that's one pocket down. <laughs> uh, sorry, looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big, goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hand back out of his pocket. And when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? No, never mind. Uh, uh, the other the other PlayStation is about to turn off. Oh, uh, well, that's too fucking bad, isn't it? Yeah. No. We're recording. Huh? No, that was me. Uh. But we'll go ahead. Uh oh. Uh -oh! <laughs> Man, how to make yourself even more suspicious by just screaming and locking yourself away in your room. <laughs> <laughs> Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it up back snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. <laughs> uh, sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Shoot him with a truth bullet right here. God, why don't we just like handcuff him and take him back? <laughs> <laughs> like at this point, he's so suspicious. Dude is suspicious. As Trash. Fuck. Also, I like that. Uh, what? I was gonna say like in that last frame, you can see a sign a little bit through his hair, and it look it legitimately looks like a blunt. Anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked me to meet with her, uh, but I never went. So I'll if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Vanishes in a puff of smoke. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slid back into his room. Hero said that it was just trash, but there's no way that's all that's all there was to it. Oh, uh, isn't <laughs> there? Isn't, isn't there pussy fart? Mm, fuck a treat. Yeah, pussy fart has become a new insult at my job. Uh, oh, you've given up cock socket? Oh, uh, no. Cock socket's still like, going strong, but like we call each other pussy fart. And then we call customers cock suckers or cock sockets. If you think Cody's, <laughs> Cody's <laughs> insults are great and that he should keep using them, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I almost called a customer a cocksucker to their face. Well, don't do that. I won't. <laughs> if, and if you do, just make sure that you're called Brad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'll... dude. At one point, a customer asked my coworker for his name at the window. You know what he said? Hmm. In the store, to the customer with the manager right behind him, he said, What's my name? My name's fuck you. <laughs> And then shut the window. I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should go find out more about the protein can we found in the rec room. I'm, I'm going to avoid the rec room like my l fucking <laughs> life depends on it. Like the plague. Like the plague. Uh, I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab. So where should I start? Uh, Probably the chem lab. Hang on, I'm going to warp. Nope, that's the wrong button. I hit it every single time. Uh, Let's see. So who's your celebrity crush? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like celebrities. They smell weird. Celebrities are scary. They're on drugs. So if you're really cool, you'll give me a kiss. I'll be Akia. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just gonna let that sink in there. Do you ever just like? Do you ever just see someone and me? Like you don't even hide it. You just go. <sighs> I do that. Makoto, did you? I'm trying. Actually, I started thinking about it. It has. It has to be that one lady. 
But uh, I can't say her name on the channel. F lady. Yeah. 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 And like every time she walks into the store, you're just like. <sighs> yeah. Makoda, did you have did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think you meant to say yes, sir. I understand. <laughs> no one respects this bastard. No, he doesn't. He's lived a life where he expects everybody to respect him. This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. So big. I should probably, get, I should probably take a closer look at it. <laughs> it's like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. More importantly right now... What's, what's this powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. I'm gonna step in it. I'm gonna step all over it, pussy farts. There's a broken, uh, broken, there's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? Looks like the bottle had a label on it, Chem C4. Actually, wait. Let me just check. It's the this. chemical that just explodes. Let me just make sure this room is recording properly. Yeah, it looks like it is. Hmm. Uh, would you like to hear something interesting? I don't care. It was on... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I wish just people acted the way we do to Byakia in this game. Like, every time he shows up, it's like, Would you like to hear an interesting thing, Brainlit? And you're like, Not really. I don't fucking care. I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at that point, the, ro the room... This room wasn't like this. No! <laughs> then this powder must have been spilled. So, in other words... That's right. It only... It could only have happened... Fucking, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, and he walks through a wall. <laughs> throws money at the wall until it falls. It could only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is when it happened, it must have been related to the case somehow. Okay, time for the moment of truth. Is it going to go back? Nope, looks like it's doing fine. Yeah, it looks like it's doing fine. Okay, that's that's good, that's good. I'm really worried about this game now, because now that the rec room is, like, problem number one of recording, the bane of my fucking existence. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Shoes. Shoes. These are footprints. And they're only in front of the left shelf. How how to fuck shit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yuck, yeah, I'm a little bitch. That's what you sound like. <laughs> how do these footprints relate to the crime scene as a whole? We may we may need to sketch out a floor the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer? With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. I'm surprised no one has attempted to murder this man. Yeah. What? Well, let's go. Chop, chop. All right. I'm eat ice cream after this. So I got to work, and, long, and before long, I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. Makoto, what's wrong with your hand? Makoto, <laughs> your hand. <laughs> I have six <laughs> joints in, a, in each finger. You want to see them pop off? <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed that here lately, whenever I wake up, I go to rotate my wrist, and it sounds like I'm snapping it? Yeah. It's weird. I wonder if it has to do with, like, I don't know, I wonder if it has to do with the way I'm sleeping, but, like, it, it sounds like I'm breaking my wrist. Yeah. So, um, how's I I, this? I think I scared you with it the other day. Not bad for you, I mean. Could you just, like, fucking... Okay, you do a better one, stupid! He rips up the paper. <laughs> he eats the paper. It's like, you do it! All that estrogen. <laughs> no one knows what that means, Cody. Uh, I guess that also wouldn't work because it's only with receipts. Receipt printer ink gets processed in the body the same way as estrogen. So, if you're a girl and you want big titties, start eating receipts. <laughs> start sucking on them papers. Don't actually do that, for the love of God. I can't take the lawsuit. So, so when you look at it, when you look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business on the left. You could... This is completely unnecessary. Yeah, he just wanted Makoto to do this because he wanted the um, pleasure of telling Makoto to do something. There's no fucking point. 
at all. They came in, went straight to the shelf, did whatever they had to do, and left. That's that's what the footprints tell me. There did was we really no need fucking this? point. Why did the why did the game developers add that in? All we really needed was just like a truth bullet that said footprints on the left side of the of the cabinet. That's the <laughs> stupidest fucking thing. These footprints must be it's Makoto, are they yours? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. And then he just walks away. <coughs> okay, then let me see your shoes, and I'll confirm their size for myself. Couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Byakuya said. He took off my shoes and started sucking my toes, and I got very scared. <laughs> and I, did I didn't know how to react. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. For me. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I must admit, these are not your footprint. Yeah, no shit. Unfortunately! <laughs> Dude, I have to admit that, like, um... I... Thanks to the size of my feet, I hate buying shoes. Yeah. Because, like... But we found a place that sells your size shoes. Yeah, it's fucking Walmart. Walmart! <laughs> Unfortunately. Hmm. But with... With how clear these prints are, I... It should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Then these prints are really a valuable clue. Nice. In here. Let's see. What's on the shelf? Oh, uh, there's an elf on the shelf. Nice. <laughs> there are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. Protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. Oh, did it? Stupid. <laughs> All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section A. It fucking says A right there. Huh, but it wait. It says fucking... There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. <sighs> Could someone have put it here by accident? It fucking says. And uh, on this shelf is... Looks... One the fuck shit, one look and I can tell that <laughs> tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. One fuck, one kill. <laughs> Did that get you? <laughs> oh shit. I'm I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Keep going. Keep going on without me. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> oh, you're dumb. Okay, may read. These look like po poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. Makoto, you make me sad, buddy. Did I already look at this? Uh, the broken bottle in front of the shelves is where all the powder came from. The C4. The explosion chemical. Uh, it didn't look like this. So, so, it, uh, so that was related to the case somehow. What's in here, actually? Well, the other one was dietary supplements and medicine. So on this shelf is... Chemicals that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. Yeah. Reagents. They're reagents. Uh, put, put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you, li how have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. <coughs> oh, man, I need a drink. <laughs> Isn't that kind of harsh? Do you want me to get you one, or...? Yes, please. How do you want... What do you want me to do? Get that one. I want that drink, daddy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> dumb, dumb, stupid idiot! Give me that drink! <laughs> Alright, cool, we're back. Let's do this. Let's do this! <laughs> Isn't that kind of harsh? What? What? You think studying sci science math and mathematics have no practical application in the real world? I think you're a cunt. I didn't say that. Uh, your word, your words of a lifelong, the words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. He just like does the L on his forehead and is like, loser, and then runs away. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with letter B and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelf section B. <laughs> I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. Let's try to find out more about this shelving unit. 
It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements. Section B has reagents. And Section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from Section A. What is happening to Makoto right now? Don't worry about it. <laughs> but what concerns me is that in Section A, there was the bottle with the label from Section C. What was the bottle of poison from Section C doing in Section A? There's definitely something going on here. Yeah, cool. We got the bullet. Can we go now? <laughs> Just start shitting. Bro, let's check out the fucking shit. Fuck. Uh, just look at the powder. Didn't check the powder itself. You... There's as much yellow powder scattered <laughs> on the floor. Better not leave a footprint. Just stomps on it. You <laughs> <laughs> should probably take a good hard look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. As much yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. It's poison! <laughs> it's poison! No, it's C4, so it's explosive! Oh no! <laughs> and then uh, Makoto and Byakuya die, and the, the case ends. <laughs> it's also a number for the remains of a broken bottle. It's like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also, it looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. Yes, thank you for showing this again. Based on the position of the of the prince, whoever it was only had only went to the left side of the shelf. This is probably the most useless fucking thing. Why ever. is investigating this area so drawn out? Like, oh God. according to Biakia, the the powder which had <laughs> the powder would have had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all. Uh, that's all I can tell for now. Why didn't they just do this before? <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. No. I'm tired. It's like midnight. And there's a cat somewhere in this house that is sad because we put her in a kennel <laughs> so we could record. <laughs> and I still have to grind some meat. We were grinding meat? Yeah. Yay! We're, we're having meatloaf tomorrow. <laughs> right! I forgot! I'm also gonna have hot wings, because I don't feel like making them tonight. I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I just... I don't want to go back to the rec room! No! <laughs> please, please, don't make me! No! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the powder more! No! Biakia! Just take no, me! Don't take me to Brazil! Ah. <laughs> 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 that was um. a meme for a while. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, you are going to Brazil meme. Oh, the record Like, you just say someone's going to Brazil, and then they just, like, get dragged off violently. <laughs> I guess I missed that one. Uh, it was it was not a long meme. It was, like, around... I'm not warping to the rec room. I'm taking the long <laughs> way. Because at least I know the video is probably working fine <laughs> as long as we're not in the rec room. If we don't go in the rec room. Do you want to see it fuck up the moment we step in there? Yay, let's go. Ah! Hey. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Kyoko started let's talking to him. Let's stay on this screen for the duration of time that we're in the rec room. Or not. <laughs> yeah, we could also just not. We don't need to do the things that I say. Well, I mean, like, because our uh, audio is delayed if we're on the other screen. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko how much of a bitch Byakuya was. <laughs> I really just kind of was like, ah, oh, Byakuya's such a cunt. <laughs> Lo and behold, he was standing right behind me. But he couldn't do anything, because if he did, we'd all turn against him. We already have. Even except, more so than we already have. Except Toko. Toko's still on his side, because she's thirsty. I see. So, along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go to see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. <laughs> lying. Anyway. So, uh, I'm Mr. M. Night Shamlian. Well, I've made some progress on my own. Sakura's body, the shelf magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three, these three things can make the perfect little girl. <laughs> 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 You mix them together and you make fucking Bunny. <laughs> you remember Bunny? No. 
That's when the girls tried to make their own sister. Hang on, wait. Right, the black one. No. Well, she's black in the new one. Is that really Bunny? Yeah, that's her. There you go. I don't know what she's called now, but she's based off of her. Did you know in the new one, she had 17 voice actresses? Why? Because they were doing a campaign of be your own Powerpuff Girl, so they got like 17 different girls to play her. Well, that's lazy as shit. This is Bunny, by the way. Oh my god, right. She, she exploded at the end of the episode. I remember that, yeah. I don't think this is who you're talking about. Well, uh, if I you... I don't know who the black one is. The, you haven't seen the... Oh, I've there seen... she is! Oh, of oh, Bliss. Yeah, um, it's, she's definitely based off of Bunny, but, like, they, you know, gave her a less tragic story. <laughs> Alright, dude. Man, the new Powerpuff Girls is weird and gross. It is! And then there was that whole, like, um, what, like, uh, what was it? Someone was, like, simping on Blossom in the beginning, and there was a whole controversy around that. Because that was the creator. Yeah, it was. Which is gross. Because they're a little girl in fucking kindergarten. No, it's not that, like, someone was simping over Blossom, it's that Blossom was simping over that dude. But it's, it's, like, a, makes it's it... a matter of that the creator wrote that in. I know, that's the thing, is, like, it makes it even more gross that Blossom was simping for him. Like, that's just all God, I hate, I hate the reboot. Did you see Fat Buttercup? Yeah. Oh my god, I hate Fat Buttercup. Why can't we just, why can't they just, like, re-release the old one? The old one was so good. I don't know, man. Is it because Bubbles had blood on her lip that one time? There was one episode where Bubbles just got the shit beat down <laughs> her, and she was bleeding, and she just kicked ass. Yeah, we need to go back to when Cartoon Network didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's when the best shit came out. Because you remember when they used to do the theater? Like yeah, they the would theater. Do the, and they'd have all the characters up there. And then the and then they redid that, and the, it, the theater was so empty. Right? Like, you had, like, it was just... We need to get back to this game. We do. Sorry, I'm running right <coughs> Like, Cartoon Network had a period of time where they were doing great, and now here recently, I feel like they're just tanking. It's a change. It's the changing of hands. When a new person comes into, like, know, leadership, they, they do power moves. And, and they just start, like, canceling all the shows just to, like, show off their power, which... They cancel the shows and they fire animators, which, which is why Rebecca Sugar, I think she left, actually. But, like, that has got to be... I wonder if that's real. Because that sounds like it couldn't possibly be real, because, like... If you look at that from a business perspective, that is the most fucking dumbest move you could ever fucking make. But if you look at it as, in a way of people are insecure as shit and don't think people will follow them if unless they do a power move. But like that just feels that feels like that can't possibly be real because like that feels like that wouldn't work. Like as a power move that would work, but from like a business standpoint, that would be the dumbest fucking thing possible. But also maybe we'll, maybe we'll research it. But we gotta get back to this game. Yeah, we're back to back to the game. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm rereading this line and I just whipped right back around to the joke I made. <laughs> <laughs> These three things have revealed new clues. Uh, you'd you do well to look them over one more time. It's also the Ben 10 reboot, which just looks like absolute garbage. I remember seeing the Ben 10 reboot and. It's, it's it's not good. I fucking hate it. They got rid of so they got rid of all the good aliens. Made they, them look more human. They made Stinkfly into a dude. They fucking. Oh Yoko my God. said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. We really can't get sidetracked into bitching about new cartoons. We really can't, but like we can just we can just watch the uh, old ones that Cartoon Network has ported onto fucking HBO Max and just be like, this is good for me. I wonder why HBO. Well, it's probably because like it's Warner Brothers. Yeah, they um kind of like go hand in hand and they put their old cartoons there for the older audiences. Which means we can watch Ben Ten. Didn't you already watch Ben Ten? You think I won't watch Ben Ten again? Watch Ben Ten. Shut up. <laughs> Clue, clue. This magazine is a clue. <laughs> what, what? Is this that Pretty Pudgy Princess? Down. It's Pretty Pudgy Princess. Okay. Uh, this magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back that way on accident? Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Here, could you hold this and rotate it around for me so that I can look it over? <laughs> 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 I'll I'll spin it round and round in my big gorilla mitts. 
Uh, we steal jokes. Yeah, I know, but those videos are very funny, and they're, hopefully people find out where they're from so they can go watch it. They're fucking hilarious. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Oh, there's pink jam inside. Starts licking it up. This is on one of those pages near the center of the magazine. A word had been written in blood, bold, bloody letters, and it said "Toko." Could this be a dying message? A frying message. Correct. No. <laughs> then it would. Oh, what would you? Then it would appear you found it. You Yay. spit on my fucking neck. Sorry. Kyoko, is this? So. It is indeed a, a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. However. But just to be clear, I'm not the, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was, it was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it. Uh, for the benefit of others who might come <laughs> who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That says Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Then she's the killer, right? Uh, Hina, go lay down. <laughs> go lay down. You know what? Go, go blow off some steam. Go... Go take a swim. Run Eat some on, donuts. Run up and down the halls. Burn, burn off all those donuts. You'll feel better. You'll come back after. Okay. Take well, five. <laughs> well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. The well, uh, this is why you don't have the uh, family of the murder victim <laughs> watch the watch the crime scene, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. No magazine dying message. Uh, well, we gotta end the episode. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, we gotta end it in this room. This right. glitchy-ass room. I wonder if it's still doing it. Yay, we're glitching around! Yep, still doing it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Dang and Romp. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate it, and it really helps us out. And we will see you guys next time. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. Bye-bye.